Uh, you normally see Decock really playing the ball hard, uh, looking to be positive, uh, showing some intent, uh, looking to be aggressive. Uh, uh, but wasn't the case uh, last evening. Uh, we didn't see uh, the normal fluent uh, Quinton Decock. There was something at the surface for so um, for sure. I mean, it wasn't a 180 surface or a 190 surface. Uh, but what I think that probably Mumbai could have done is that uh, when they realized that Quinton Decock was batting at one end, taking the game along, probably they could have stepped it up a little bit on the other end. Uh, guys like Asuri Kumar Yadav, uh, even sending in uh, even Lewis at that point in time, I thought was a mistake. Uh, Hardik Pandya, uh, Kyron Pollard. Uh, these are the guys I thought probably could have played a little more harder since they realized that Quinton Decock was holding up one end and they had to go hard from the other end. That probably was something that I would have looked at doing. Uh, but yes, Quinton Decock was not his fluent self, but uh, I get a feeling a lot of it had to do with the surface. Mighty impressed with uh, Khalil, the way he's uh, bowled the entire IPL. He's been spot on. Uh, just get a feeling that if he had probably played the first few games, uh, he might be on the flight to the World Cup. Uh, bowled beautifully and if you actually go back and see the 15 that I picked for the World Cup, Khalil was one of my choices, a left-arm seamer, a decent bowler, gives you variety with uh, left-arm over, left-arm round. Uh, but as, as things stand by uh, to his uh, misfortune, Ended up missing the first few games, could not play the first few games due to injury. Uh, and when he got back into the side, the World Cup side was picked by then. But uh, yes, uh, this IPL, he has been brilliant, has bowled beautifully for uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad. Uh, to me, by far the best seamer, uh, not even Bhuvi. Uh, he's bowled far better than Bhuvi. Mm -hmm.